Introducing the Caspian Occipital Plate System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. Position the patient prone and using a rigid head holder, place the head and neck in a neutral position. Expose the occiput from the inion down to the desired level in the spine. Place hooks, Mesa Mini or Denali Mini screws and other supplemental fixation as appropriate. For instructions to insert, final tighten and remove hooks and screws, refer to the Mesa Mini or Denali Mini surgical technique animations. The Caspian occipital plates are offered in three sizes, 30, 40 and 50 millimeters. Each plate allows the lateral adjustable screw heads on the wings of the plate to slide medial lateral from a minimum rod-to-rod -rod distance of 25 mm to a maximum of 30, 40 or 50 mm respectively. This in turn facilitates attachment of the rod to the plate. Further, the occipital plates and the midline screws utilize tie-fix locking technology, which allows the screws to lock to the plate upon insertion eliminating the need for any additional locking mechanism. Utilize the occipital plate templates to select the plate most appropriate for the patient's anatomy. Because the occipital plates feature tie fix, the screws will not lag the plate to the bone before locking to the plate. Therefore, plate contouring is important prior to screw insertion to ensure the plate lies flush against the occiput. To facilitate bending, the plate features bend zones at each of the lateral wings, as well as notches between the midline screw holes. Both parallel pliers and short and long occipital plate benders are available for contouring. The plate benders can be slipped over the wings or center tab on the plate. If placement of only two midline screws is preferable to three screws, the superior screw hole may be removed by supporting the plate with the parallel pliers and using the short plate bender to bend the screw hole back and forth until it is separated from the plate. Using the occipital plate holder, position the plate on the occiput. Use the awl to perforate the occipital cortex. Drill guides are offered at fixed lengths of 6 to 16 mm in 2 mm increments. Select the occipital drill guide that corresponds to the desired drill length. Insert the selected drill guide into the superior screw hole of the plate and drill the pilot hole using the 3.0 mm straight drill or 3.0 mm universal joint drill. Confirm the depth of the pilot hole with the depth gauge. While the screws provided are self-tapping, the 4.5 mm occipital tap or 4.5 mm universal joint tap, which are 0.5 mm undersized, may be used prior to inserting the screw. Screws are available in 4.5 and 5.25 mm diameters in lengths of 6 to 14 mm in 2 mm increments. 16 mm screws are available upon request. Prior to screw insertion, remember to make sure the plate is properly positioned as the plate will not lag to the bone. With the appropriate screw selected, use the size 20 tapered screwdriver or universal joint screwdriver in conjunction with a fixed or ratcheting axial handle to insert the screw and provisionally tighten. Repeat until all screws have been inserted. Use a rod template to determine the proper length and shape of the rods that will fix the occipital plate to the hooks and Mesa Mini or Denali Mini screws. Both 300mm cobalt chrome straight rods and titanium pre-bent rods are available. The titanium pre-bent rods come standard with a 115 degree bend in 80 to 125mm and 80 to 215mm lengths. 130 degree pre-bent rods are available by request. Cut and further contour the selected rods if necessary so that they lie smoothly against the posterior surface of the occiput. To cut the rod, turn the wheel of the ratcheting rod cutter counterclockwise to align the two white lines. Insert the rod into the cutter until the determined cut spot is lined up with the cut line. Repeatedly squeeze the handle and release until the rod is cut. The rod bender or two broad benders may be used to contour the rods to the desired amount of lordosis or kyphosis. Introduce the prepared rod into the hooks and screw construct and align the lateral adjustment screw heads to accommodate the rod. Then lock the rod to the hook and screw construct. If slight reduction of the rod is necessary, place the anti-torque guide over the rod and gently push down over the screw head. Then, use the size 15 tapered screwdriver to pass a mini set screw through the guide and provisionally tighten in the screw head. 
Using the size 20 non-tapered screwdriver or universal joint screwdriver attached to the black pear-shaped torque limiting handle, final tighten each of the midline screws in the occipital plate. The black torque limiting handle will emit an audible click when it reaches 30 inch pounds. Next, place the occipital anti-torque guide around each of the lateral adjustable screw heads. With the size 15 non-tapered screwdriver or universal joint screwdriver attached to the gray torque limiting handle, final tighten the set screws to 2 newton meter or 17.7 inch pounds through the anti-torque guide. This handle will also emit an audible click when the necessary torque has been achieved. Once fully tightened, the screw heads will be fixed in position and will no longer slide along the plate. If removal of the occipital plate is necessary, engage the size 15 and size 20 non-tapered screwdrivers in the mini set screws and midline screws respectively, and turn counterclockwise to disengage the plate from the rods and occiput. The Caspian Occipital Plate System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations.